Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great week so far. Today we are going to be doing a little haul from Cirque Colors. I recently picked up a couple polishes that were speaking to me. I ordered a couple from the new Vice 2024 collection. And then we've got some other polishes that I picked up just because I was interested in the polish themselves. And they were on a like clearance price, markdown, something like that. So I went ahead and picked up a couple additional polishes on top of the new polishes from the Vice collection. I am going to flip you guys around so you could see what these look like. And then we're going to talk about the polishes. I will be inserting swatch pictures. I won't be live swatching these in this video, but there will be swatch pictures up as I talk about each of these polishes. So let's go ahead and just turn this around. Hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get into the haul. So firstly, we have a couple little additions to this order. They're cute little cert colors. I thought these were stickers, but I don't think that they actually are. I think they're just a cute little keepsake from Cirque Colors. So I got two of these in this order and we're going to move on to the Vice polishes first and then the rest of these are just some additional polishes that I picked up. So the first one here is this one from the Vice collection. This is called Electric Daisy. This is a highlighter yellow polish it looks green, so I don't know if you'd call it a yellow green, if you call it yellow, um, but I had to get this one. I was trying to talk myself out of these polishes, but have seen so many people talk about them, and a couple of my viewers have commented that they were going to pick up a couple of these polishes from this Vice 2024 collection. I just had to do it. So I picked this beautiful polish up. It is so bright. I don't think my camera is doing it justice. It is a little bit toned down on camera in person. This is a bright neon green shade. Absolutely stunning. I this next one I knew I had to get. I saw Polish with Ray talk about this collection recently, and she swatched this one, which is called Plastic. I knew I had to pick it up. This was almost a one-coat cream. This is a beautiful pink. It's almost like a little bit of an orchidy pink. It is not a neon in my personal opinion. This is a deeper pink than what a neon would be, but this is gorgeous. This is such a beautiful polish. I'm excited to wear this one as well. The last one for the Vice collection is this one called Road Rage. Polish with Ray shared this polish as well, and I fell in love with it. It is a bright neon corally red, I would call it. I don't think it is like a reddish orange. It appears to be more of like a pinky coral base. Very, very bright, very br vibrant. She swatched it, and I knew I had to get this one. It was absolutely beautiful. We're going to move on to a couple additional polishes that I picked up just because they were marked down and I was interested in the polishes. So we have this one. This is called Rose Canyon, a almost like a rosy mauve shade that has black flakies. This is a little different in color than I thought it was going to be. It's a little more neutral leaning. I am excited to wear this one. I think it'll be perfect for the fall season. I think this would be perfect to pair with other polishes for fall manicures. I don't know if this is going to complement my skin tone or not, but I will definitely give it a go before I decide if I am going to keep it or not. I think it's an interesting polish, and I don't have anything like this in my current collection, so I wanted to add this one. This next one is kind of like a mustardy yellow. On camera, it is definitely looking a lot more vibrant. In person, this is more muted. This one is called Vanderbilt. This was also part of the markdown of set of polishes that they had on their site. I don't know if this will complement my skin tone either. It's kind of almost like an ochre color. I want to say there's a polish from OPI called Ochre the Moon. This reminds me of that, even though the polish I think from OPI is a little bit deeper. This is kind of like one of those prugly colors. I have two more here that I had to get because they were marked down. We have this beautiful, almost like watermelon 
pink. This is Blushing Queens. This is a beautiful shade of polish. Really beautiful. It appears to be very, very opaque. I was not sure if it was going to be jelly-esque or not. I did take a peek at it, and it, fear it seems to be a very nice formulated cream polish. The last one is kind of like a hunter green. I probably didn't need this. I have polishes similar, but I just loved the color. This one is called Lafayette. This is a beautiful hunter green cream. Really nice polish. This does also have the small brush. I will try to link these polishes down in the description box of the video, so if you're interested in any of these, check the description box. There'll be info down there. But, but this is a really beautiful shade. I, it reminds me of Essie's Off Tropic. I don't know how similar they are. I might have to try to swatch these side by side and see what they look like. Really quickly, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the brushes. I have this one in Rose Canyon. This one does have a wide, flat paddle brush in it. However, the other three creams that I talked about at the end, those do have the traditional smaller brush. So just keep that in mind. If you are new to Cirque Colors and their site, they do have listings stated where they have a wide paddle brush in the polish or if, you know, it comes with a standard brush. I did not realize, I don't think, when I ordered the, these three creams, I didn't realize they didn't have the wide paddle brush or I just forgot about it. But these are the traditional older style brushes, so just keep that in mind. They're not bad. It doesn't, this is what they look like. They're not the smallest brush I've ever seen, so I'm going to definitely play around with these first before I decide if I want to try to change them out. Um, I will have to change the caps and brushes on these because I don't have anything that fits the cap. The way their cap is designed on a couple of these polishes, no brushes fit, so there's that. But I just wanted to make you guys aware of that in case somebody may not know that. Some polishes come with a wide paddle brush. I will also say, I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up here. Let me, there you can see it. So the newer caps that contain the paddle brush has a little indent or a little dot on the cap. The older brush, older caps and brushes don't have anything on top here. The caps look almost identically the same in person, but one has that little dot on top, one has nothing. So just know that some come with a paddle brush, some of the polishes from their site don't come with paddle brushes. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.